Yet to be told that you have IPF is to be given a death sentence. The average person dies within three to five years of, of diagnosis, and that's actually worse than most cancers. I mean, it's basically a process of your lungs becoming scarred, becoming more rigid, so that you are unable to breathe, and eventually you die for lack of breath. Action for pulmonary fibrosis is the, the leading voice for people suffering from pulmonary fibrosis in all its forms. To start a national charity from scratch is not easy. And Mike and his wife Elizabeth went from nothing to a, a really significant charity in a matter of two or three years. And I, I think that's, that's an amazing testament to, to the kind of man he was. And this is a really very exciting time for the charity because through our fundraiser's support we've been able to raise £300,000 to support an outstanding research project into pulmonary fibrosis. And this can be things that either help us advance our understanding of the cause of the disease, help us understand new treatments for the disease and to improve the lives of patients with pulmonary fibrosis. I think Mike would be really pleased to think that APF had got to the point where we have serious amounts of money due to the fundraising that people do on behalf of the charity. We have serious amounts of money to invest in finding, understanding the origins and finding a cure for IPF. I mean, he was a, a gentleman who was so passionate about wanting to support other people with, with this disease based upon his own experience because he realised how important having support was, not only for him, but for the rest of his family. I'm sure he would be very pleased to, to think it was in his name because he, he is the foundation on which, we, which we're all working. Yeah.